Hello, how are you doing today? This is I'm Mario with OpenVPN Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy an asset server using DigitalOcean. So, to begin, we're going to need a DigitalOcean account. Make sure to use the link down below in the description to receive $200 worth of credits. Okay, so once you have your account created, you should see a screen somewhat similar to this. Um, in the top right corner, there should be a green button that says create. We are going to click that and we are going to create a droplet. Okay, so now that we're on the droplet page, we're going to choose our region. Um, I'm going to be choosing London for the sake of this video. And we are going to scroll down to choose an image. We're going to go to the marketplace and we're going to type in open VPN access server. Yo. And now that that is selected, we're going to scroll down. We're going to hit basic regular $6 a month and we're gonna choose our authentication method. So for this video, we're gonna be using SSH key. Um, if you already know how to create an SSH key, all you would do is just go ahead and select it um, if you already have an SSH key. But if you do not have an SSH key, you're gonna hit new SSH key. Um, from here, we're going to go ahead and create our SSH key using a software called Putty. Um, so go ahead and open up Putty. We're gonna have this, the link down in the description below to download. We're gonna open up Putty Gen, and this is gonna open up the application Putty Key Generator. And from here, we're gonna hit generate a public slash private key pair. We're gonna go ahead and generate it, move our mouse around the blank area to generate the key. Um, this may take a minute, so just be a little bit of patient with it. Um, but once the key is created, we're going to paste this key back into DigitalOcean. Make sure you have the entire key selected. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and drop that in. We're gonna name this Open VPN Key 2.0. Yeah. Add the key. Okay, we selected the key, and now we're gonna scroll down and go ahead and finalize the details here. So let's create the droplet. Okay, now that the droplet is created, we're gonna wait for it to load here. Once it's finished loading, I will show you guys the next step, which we're gonna need Putty again for that. Also, let's go back to Putty while we wait on this and let's make a key passphrase. Okay, and okay. So I created my key passphrase just then. Um, and we're going to go ahead and save the private key because we will need this again for later in the video. Okay, so our private key is saved. Make sure you guys save your private key and remember your key passphrase because we're going to need that again later. Okay, so we do not need putty key generator again. So we're going to go ahead and close this out. And now... We do have our droplet created here. Let's go ahead and grab the IP address and we're gonna open up Putty. So we're in Putty configuration and the first thing you're gonna see here is it's gonna say host name. We're gonna go ahead and put that IP address here. Okay, go down here to SSH. We're going to hit the plus. We're gonna go to authentication. We're gonna hit plus again. We're gonna go to credentials. So now that we're in credentials, we're gonna put the private key file that we just got from Putty Key Gen. Okay, and now let's go back up to session and we're gonna go ahead and save our session. So give your session a name. I'm gonna name this session OpenVPN Key 2.0. Save. Okay, and now we are going to hit open. So once you hit open, you are gonna receive a security alert like so. Just go ahead and hit accept and we're gonna log in as root. So type R-O-O-T, press enter. And now we're gonna have to type in that passphrase that we created earlier. So now that the passphrase is in, we are going to have to accept the terms of agreement. So make sure you guys type yes, enter. And now press enter again. Enter again. Now you're going to be prompted to create a password. If you press enter here, a random password will be generated. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a password real quick. Okay. And we will confirm our password like so. Okay. And now we're going to press enter again. And we should get a URL 
to take us to the access server admin panel okay and here it is so now you're going to copy this url that putty generated which is that ip address slash admin into your web browser like so and now you're going to receive this pop-up potentially um, just go ahead and hit advance hit proceed and it's going to bring you to the open vpn access server admin portal so now remember that username and um, password that you just created so we're going to go ahead and log in here okay all righty and we're going to accept the user agreement okay so once you reach this page you're going to be seen with this message get activation key so go ahead and click that okay so we're going to click it and we're going to hit use subscriptions as you guys know our software does come with two free subscriptions so we're going to use those two free subscriptions today so it's going to ask you how many connections does your company need we're going to put two so we can receive our two free connections okay let's hit create and now that we are in we are going to need the subscription key okay so now we're going to take our subscription key and go back over to the admin panel which if you guys are a little lost here that is the link that putty generated for you so that's going to be your ip address slash admin we're here at the activation manager page we're going to paste our activation key okay and it should say loading subscription this is going to go ahead and load up and from there the subscription is active okay so now let's go ahead and download the open vpn client connect app okay Alrighty. so go ahead and go through the software we're gonna go ahead and install it open vpn connect okay install and now we're gonna open the open vpn connect we are going to add a profile so we're going to go to import profile here and you get two options you get the option to either import it using a url or to import it using a file i'm going to show you guys how to do both okay so let's go back to our admin portal we're going to go over here to user management we're going to go to user profiles and from here we're going to hit new profile and we're going to create okay so this gave us the file so now that we have the profile file we're going to hit browse and we're going to select and connect okay we have to enter a password this is going to be the password that we used when we created our login for the admin panel okay and we are connected and i'm going to go ahead and confirm to you that this worked um, so let's go back over here to DigitalOcean. Um, as you see, this is our IP address that DigitalOcean generated for us. And we are going to type in, what's my IP? And let's see what it says. And boom, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and click this as well. It says we are in the city of London. Region is England. Country is United Kingdom of Great Britain. So it clearly worked. We are connected. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to create a new user for your SS server. So go ahead and head over to your admin portal and go ahead and use your admin login. Okay, and now that we are logged in, we are going to go to user management and we are going to go to user permissions. Okay, and here you're gonna see your main account, which would be your admin account. So for us, that is OpenVPN. And then we also have a John Doe account here, which is our second user. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and add a new user here. So uh, we're just gonna name this John May Doe, okay? And we are going to also set a password for this user. So we're going to hit more settings. Um, it has the little pin icon here. And we're going to scroll down to local password. And we're going to go ahead and set a password for him. 
uh, make sure you guys use a good detailed password um, to keep your account nice and secure. Okay. All right. So now we set a password for John Doe and we're going to go ahead and press the button right here to go ahead and update the running server, which is going to activate. Okay. So now that we created our second John Doe account, we want to go ahead and send him a link which is going to allow him to download the asset server. So to do so, we're going to take the URL of our IP address here and we're going to leave out admin. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that like so, and we're going to email that to John Doe. So now John Doe goes ahead and clicks that link and it takes him to this page. From here, he's going to use his username, which is John May Doe and his password to sign in. Okay, and now once John Doe is signed in, we're gonna go ahead and use the recommended connect for our device. Okay, and while that downloads, we will wait. Okay, more info, run anyway. All right, we're gonna go through the setup here. Okay, we're done with the setup. And from here, we should be able to log in as John Doe. And there you go, John made Doe bundled. So we're gonna go ahead and try to connect here. Um, which is okay, we have to enter a password, boom. And there you go, our second user is connected, congratulations. That is how you connect a second user to the OpenVPN access server. And we're gonna go ahead and check our IP and make sure everything is working correctly here. Okay, and let's see, where am I? DigitalOcean is my ISP, city is London, region is England, and successfully connected John Doe, our secondary user, to the OpenVPN as a server. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.